better use Ceratosaurus. Okay, guys, which one do you think it's in? I'm going to say the right one. Yeah! Okay, let's see. Oh, we got one chance at this. Let's go to the left. Oh, that's a shame. Just kidding. I got all of them. <laughs> Hello, I'm the Game and Beaver, and welcome to another episode of Glacier Tournament. I'm not going to show you all of my uh, Glacier Park because it is actually under construction. I'm making a proper park. We're going to do an episode where we take a tour around of it, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, and look what's ready. Oh, it's a Mastodon Mall. That thing costs bucks. So, yeah, I'm actually putting a lot of effort into this park. It's not just going to be like the other one. So, we're going to go straight in. Uh, ooh, what's on offer? Oh, just dollar packs. Oh, never mind. Oh, an Indicotherium is still up. That's pretty awesome. He's a good one. So, marsupial lion. That's what you came here today to see. And wow, that's a big enclosure. Um, so, uh, it's going to take 20 odd hours, isn't it? it? Ooh, 339 XP. That's not much. It's going to take how much to... Yeah, 23 bucks. So, it is a hefty chunk. Let's see what the first one's going to say. Marsupial lion is the largest carnivorous mammal to ever exist in Australia. Um, wow, yeah, that is true. Marsupial. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, we have, yep, the saber-toothed uh, cat sort of animation. But actually, there's only one of them. And um, usually there's quite a few. This creature actually had opposable thumbs because it was a marsupial, which is quite amazing. Uh, it looks awesome. Uh, so, yeah, you might be seeing that there is no me in the corner this time. Uh, I'm doing that for two reasons. One, when I do that, I have to go through certain steps, and it sort of downgrades the quality of the entire video. And two, I can get the video up a lot faster, so you guys will get it as soon as it's done, as soon as it's rendered, and as soon as it's, as it's uploaded. Uh, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna skip forward till it's fully evolved, or at least this is done. Jiminy Christmas! It got stuck on that last one for ages. The marsupial lion is actually not a lion at all, but still reigned the plains during the uh, pl 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 Pleistocene? I think that's how it says. <laughs> during Plastocene era, when everything on the land was made of Plastocene. Yes, the marsupial lion is closely related to a wombat. Uh, what makes it a marsupial is it, ca it has a pouch. And, uh, like a kangaroo, yes, exactly, it was more like a kangaroo than anything else. Um, it's a strange creature because it lived in Australia, it hunted Coco Puffs, it hunted Coco Puff, and it had competition from Megalania, the huge monitor lizard, so crazy times in Australia. But when a continent is sort of, uh, separated, it allows these weird creatures to evolve. Like, oh, sorry, I, I was just looking at the health. We have 3,000, so we have about 6, 6,500, 6,700 health when maxed, and 3,024 damage. Wow, that's really good. This is gonna be just on par with Titan Boa. Oh my god, is it? Is it gonna be on par with Titan Boa? That would be awesome. Okay, join me in a second where we'll check back and see what colors it is. God, this one's a gold eater. Oh, finally! Here we go, what do we have? The enlarged incisors of both the upper and lower jaws and blade-like uh, premolars on either side of its jaw were specialized for taking down big prey, such as our poor old beloved Cocoa Puff. Uh, one thing I'm not, I don't like about this name, they call it Marsupial Lion. Like, that's not its actual Latin name. It has a Latin name. That's like calling uh, the Leviathan Killer Whale. Or, you know, just, it's, I don't know. It's like, oh, look, it's swimming fish. No, why call it marsupial lion? Call it its actual name. I, I never, I don't understand. Oh! Oh, okay. I think I've already seen it in this colors, actually. Uh, this is the one that on the Jurassic Park Builder website, they have it this color. So that's quite interesting. Um... You know what? Actually, I will say I'm happy it's this color. This is probably a close color of what it looked like. I love, I'm loving how it looks. It's, it does have that opposable thumb. They have done their research into the model. Uh, if we get, oh look, it's beautiful. Um, 
graphics on the face there, that's really in detail. It looks rather like a cheater, actually, the way its head is, but loving the way, even though it's sort of copying the Sabretooth cat, it does look, it, you know, they've done something different. They have just made it one, a bit like how Vampire Fish was Protosferina's animation, even though it was just one fish. It would be nice. It's a shame that all of these DNA creatures that have came out right now are just copying animations that uh, even some of them were uh, like, you know, special. Like Megalania's animation was the only creature of its animation. And then when Dinosuchus came out, it copied the animation, which sucks a bit, but I would like some creature to have its own animation. We've got Baculitis, which is gonna be the big author cone. Um, in the aquatic. That's just gonna copy Colossal Squid's animation. We've got the other elephant that's in this one, which is gonna copy all the other elephant's animations. Rajasaurus is gonna copy T-Rex's animation again! Again! T-Rex, it was just T-Rex, then uh, Giganotosaurus copied it, and now Rajasaurus is copying it. Come on, come up with something different, please! Um, and there's, there's, uh, Hyenodon, which is probably gonna copy, again, the Sabretooth Cats animation. Oh, wow, we're getting really lucky with this. Oh, never mind. God damn it. Oh, oh, you know, I could do that. Actually, this is the fastest it's ever went before. The first time I evolved it, oh, it took ages. But... I'm glad that I had about 7,000 meat. I just clocked over to 7,000 feet. Oh God, wobbling the microphone. And now I'm on 6,000. Basically, it's cost me 500,000 to level it up to where it is now. But if you know, if you play this game, the last evolution is the one where it costs the most food-wise because it's like 10,000 a pop to do one level. So that's about 50,000 for one, one level, which is crazy. So, and I'm guessing this is actually going to take a while because the game, I think the game has a quota that you need to spend a certain amount of coins for the evolution to be done. And I'm going to be stuck here for ages because it's probably going to need me to put in 3 million coins to evolve. And it's going to keep on failing. That's the way it goes because some of the uh, early early creatures you get, they're really easy because they that it's got like such a high success rate. Either that or it is coins. I'm not too sure. I'm just just doing it because I just need to, to evolve and I mean coins aren't that hard to come by a lot of you guys have asked me questions on how do you get coins and you know starting from a low level it sucks because it takes so long and you just have to play the game like every 10 minutes oh god there we go so the final little factoid we get, despite its size, marsupial lions may not have been a true apex predator as it shared at least part of its range with the Megalania, which is the monitor, it's a huge monitor lizard. So what's it gonna look like? What's its secondary colorings? Well, it's not secondary, it's final colorings gonna be. I don't think they're gonna change too much. Red? I could see a red highlight. I could also see a white highlight. Okay, I'm not expecting something too crazy, so. Uh, yellow hair. Oh, wow, that's awesome. It's got a nice color around its eyes. Oh, okay. It looks gorgeous. And it is 930 ferocity, which probably puts it above Amphicoon, if not perhaps the same as Amphicoon. So join me in a minute where we'll go ahead and start the tournament. And here we are in the All-Star Tournament. That's right. This little beast is going to win me 90 bucks. You might think, hey, Beaver, that says 120. No, it costs 30 to go in and then you don't get your 30 back. So really, it's only 90 bucks. So I'm going to buy it back two times so it gets in all the time. And who do we have? Where is he? Oh, I was picturing him here, but 930. Oh, oh, it puts it above Amphicoot. Oh. So, I'm gonna not start off with the Team Australia, which is gonna be the highly anticipated uh, team. So, we're gonna see if, you know what? Wow, it looks like a really cool creature. Oh no! I forgot the first creature that comes in is just a lone endocrithurium. Or a lone creature, oh. He's not even gonna get a chance to shine in Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, this person's profile picture is a beagle. Oh no, I don't want to win now. <laughs> a few of you guys have commented saying that uh, if I fight you in the tournament, I'm gonna go easy on you. 
I don't want you to go easy on me. Come on, guys. Little Brute's gonna win it. Come on. Little Brute. You can do it. Yum. What are you gonna do? You gonna go for a special? Of course you can. Well, Little Brute can take that easy two specials and uh, still has enough energy to take on a, a single attack and then probably die. Actually... Oh no, at this rate. You know when I fight this creature, sometimes they don't use all their blocks and sometimes they don't use all their specials. So, it's possible that we could beat this with just Macaroni. Little Brute might be out of this. Come on, Macaroni! Bite it! Oh, oh guys, before, I just want to say, I have been starting a Majora's Mask series, and little thing I want to say, that is personally my favorite ever game that was created, and it's just got its remake on the 3DS, so if you want to see a series where I can take it, like, easy, and it's not too complicated for me, and we can just talk, that would be a really good series for you to watch and, you know, get more on a personal level with me because uh, I think a lot of you do want to do that. So, I mean, I love that game so much. So, like, and I know it like the back of my hand. There will be some parts where it will be a little bit confusing because they've, you know, they haven't completely copy and pasted it. And then it comes! Oh, oh wow, they put so much effort into that. Would it really had a long tail? I think it- I think it did have a long tail. So yeah, it's a Sabertooth cat animation, and there's a twin! Oh, wow! Oh, that looks cool. That looks badass. I can't wait to use that and, like, use its specials and stuff. That looks awesome. And it, its nickname, I'm thinking of calling it Marzipan. I, I like that name. Marzipan! 19 bucks to get back! We shall do a... We'll do a cat team, shall we? Oh, wait. No, we can't really do a cat team. Um, we'll do Apex Predators. We'll do... Amphaku. Oh, no. Androsarchus was better. We'll do... Ma Titan Boa. Marsupial Lion. And Amphaku. We'll do those. Those. That's assured a victory, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if Marsupial Lion will win it, though. He's definitely going to win the last one. It's going to be Team Australia. It's going to be Megalania, Proco, Coptodon, Coco Puff, and Marsupial Lion. Or Marzipan. I'm thinking about calling Marzipan. Yum. No. Using Force Field Shield, that's fine. I, I don't care. I don't want to win. Uh, the other elephant that's got to come out for Glacier is this other elephant. I can't remember the name off the tip of my tongue, but it basically looks exactly like Amblodon. I'm imagining a scaled up version with just a longer, longer snout. That's it. And that is so disappointing. They they haven't really made a creature with new animations. They've just taken an animation and a rig, put it on a model, and there you go. Which sucks because you want something new. I'm just, I'm glad they haven't done another snake. Not that there has been another big snake. I can't, I don't know any other big snake. I'd imagine there would be. It would be weird that Titan Bo is the only species of Big Snake. Um, oh, oh, Marsupial Lion. It has a chance to sweep, actually. Oh, I want to try it. I want to try it. So we're not going to go for the special just yet because I have another block. And there it is. Now we can go for specials. Uh, that's one Titan Bo a bite. So, I think a special from a marsupial lion or ma good old marzipan might do it. Do you guys like marzipan? I actually hate marzipan. Oh, what? A special and it survives with enough health to take another special. That's amazing. Here it is. Oh, prowling. Look at those opposable thumbs. Yeah. Yes, it took it out. Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh, uh, not enough to take another hit. Um, it looks like Ampakun's gonna win this. For the final one, um, it'll all be on Marsupial Lion because Megalane is gonna be taken out fairly quickly. Prococoptodon's gonna be that meat shield, and the sweeper will be Marsupial Lion. So Ampakun, Ampakun's not as good actually. Oh wow, 
30 extra attack on Marsupial Lion, opposed from Amphicoon. But it doesn't really have a problem. Bite it! Bite its kneecaps! Okay, Macaroni. I think we can take two hits? Yeah, we can take two hits without dying. So we'll do uh, two bites and then a block. I love, I, I like saving my claws. I don't like being wasteful. I'm a bit stingy like that. Um, but look at me, I've almost got 2,000 claws now. Oh, oh, that was a close one. Come on, Amphi. Bite it. Oh, poor macaroni. <laughs> it's evil macaroni, remember guys, it's not real macaroni. Oh, if you guys have bought a shirt, um, and you can be featured in a video at the start, if you send me in a picture with you wearing the shirt, or any sort of merchandise that's on the site, there will be new ones coming every now and again. Uh, I'm wanting a Game and Beaver shirt just to be up so you guys can, you know, support the series without thinking, oh, I have to wear a macaroni or I have to wear a Team Raptor, which would be awesome. But if you want to, like, um, be in an episode, Put, take a picture of yourself, put it in, uh, send it to the Game and Beaver Facebook, <laughs> can't even talk, Game and Beaver Facebook page, and from there I should put it in. So this is Team Australia. Uh, oh god. You know, I don't know if Prococoptodon would have been an easy kill. This looks like a good team actually. To me, this looks like a team that's usable. Okay, please go first, please go first. No! Ah, come on. Block? No? Okay, I'm glad I didn't block. So, Megalania, I think, can just survive another charge. It might just kill him. Might just kill her. I always call them him. I don't know why. It should be she. They're all she's. If it's Jurassic Park, they're all she's. So, don't go for a special, please. Please survive! Oh, come on, Megalania! What you playing at? That was atrocious. Thank God Cocoa Puff can step in. Just keep hopping, just keep hopping, go with the Cocoa Puff. Hop. Come on. I'm gonna go for a block. No, no, I'm gonna save. Probably should have went for, for the block though. I think I should have. Oh, okay. We could take at least two more specials. Uh, well, at least one more with surviving. Come on, use all those blocks. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Block! Oh no! He didn't go for a special! Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to save all my blocks now. Oh, uh, what? He's gonna take him down in three hits? Yes, come on! Don't go- Oh no! Worst game ever! I had a game before and I predicted everything. I predicted when they went for a special, I predicted when they went for a block. Oh no! They're gonna go for a block here as well. Oh no! Oh, I'm completely off my game! Okay, 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 come on. Marsupial Lion, you've got three specials. Can you do it? Oh, no. Um, is it worth going for a special here? I don't think he's gonna block, but just in case. Oh, no! No, I wanted that to be a special. Right, I think he's not gonna go for a, char a special. Ah! <laughs> No, oh, he's gonna go for his. Oh. oh, thank God he's got a lot of health. Okay. Chances are he he could. Go you know what? Screw it! I don't even care anymore. This has been a horrendous game. <laughs> Come on, kill it! Kill it in one hit. No, oh, what? Hacks! I'm calling hacks. There is no way that he predicted everything I was gonna do there. Um. Okay, I'm thinking a special's gonna kill him. If it leaves him with the tiniest amount of health, I'm gonna stand up and leave. Oh, yes! Okay, okay, come on, my super lion. You can do it. Come on, come on. Uh, special? He does so much damage. 4,500. That's over half health for everything in the Glacier Park. He's a two-hit killer with a special. Oh my god. I'm glad I got this one quite cheap. 
or like cheaper than I'm used to. And it's a really good di uh, dinosaur, it's a really good mammal. So, uh, it's charged, isn't it? It's not bite, it's charged, definitely charged. Down it goes, and it wins, oh. Now that's a game where it did deserve, that's MVP right there. It should be called MVP, but I like marzipan. <laughs> and that's it, I got 120 bucks. Yeah. Whew. So, after that roller coaster of a journey, that's been the end of the episode, showcasing um, the marsupial lion, marsupial lion. And if you've liked this video, leave a like. I, again, if you did come here thinking you were gonna see a little me, Remember, it was only because I didn't want to lower the quality of the video because I want you guys to see the lion in all its HD glory. And I also didn't want this video to be out the next day. So it's out bang, bada, boom, right there and then. So again, if you want a series to watch, I, and for me, the, like the commentary and just like, to go, you know, it's a game, like Majora's Mask is a game that I played when I was about, like most of the audience's age, like seven or eight or nine or 10. Uh, when I was quite young, and there's just something about the relationships in that and it in that game, and it just resonated with me on a whole different page. And you guys love the personal stories that I leave here, and there's gonna be there's probably gonna be quite a few in that game, um, and it'd just be awesome to you know play a game that means something to me and for you guys to be there. Um, because there are a lot of Let's Players out there that will play Majora's Mask, but they'll play it because it's a new game and they just want to get the views and money, basically. Whereas, I would play this game even if it wasn't a popular game and it just came out because it's, it's hands down my favourite game. Um, it's, it's, it's my favourite game in the Zelda series, completely. I don't know if it's my all-time favorite game. Again, I don't like having favorite games because I change all the time. It's like, what's my favorite game today? Because it could be Super Smash, it could be uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, it could be Mario Kart, it, it, it depends. Like, honestly, the, it could be Majora's Mask, it could be Ocarina of Time. But right now, I think just, I just want to go on that journey with you because like, I do these videos, and they're awesome, I love playing them, but I do feel a lot of the views come from people just wanting to see the latest creatures, or people just wanting to see the game, and they're not here because of the community, like, you guys are, like, just the best, like, I get so many awesome comments, and yes, I do get the ones that are just like, SHOUT OUT MY NAME, and then people are like, why, wh why, and they're just like, because, <laughs> um, and th there's just, I get so many lovely comments, and I've, I've shared them on here, and I don't know, it, it's really changing, just, like, the whole, what I thought a Let's Play was, originally I just made Let's Play to support my animations, and now, it's starting to become my life. Like, I'm, I'm starting to know you guys from either your pictures or your names and just like the stories you tell me, uh, which is something that I think a lot of people on YouTube can't say, that they're starting to recognize, you know, their fan base. And it's, it's something that I never expected this to become in a million years. I just thought I'd be playing games and I would, I'd look through my comments and it would just be, use this, do this team, uh, yada yada yada, but now I'm starting to get people like, oh, you know, I, I come home and I just look forward to seeing your videos and, and then people sharing their own personal stories. Like I, I said about, you know, feeling peer pressure when I was in school and a lot of people felt the same and then a lot of people were just like, you know, screw them, it, it doesn't matter and that's true, but back then I just wish I had a bit more courage, like I do now, to just be who I am, so... Uh, if you've liked this video, leave a like, and if you want to get in touch with me on a more personal level, that's the series that I'd suggest. Um, not that, you know, this isn't gonna be... I'm never gonna be personal in anything else, but for me right now, that's something that is of the time. Like, right now, when you're watching this video, go check it out. Um, I mean, maybe you don't like Legend of Zelda, but may you, maybe you'll find my commentary funny! I don't know! <laughs> But again, thank you so much. These, these videos wouldn't be possible without you. 
Uh, the whole reason why I'm able to even get these creatures is because I'm like, oh my god, so many people are gonna want to see this. I want to see it, but just thinking about all the people are like, oh yeah, we get to see it. We don't have to spend bucks on it, and we just have to wait for him to post the video. And, you know, Let's Play is something that you get on a more personal level. Because uh, I did animations for ages, absolutely ages, like years, and I never got... On that. Oh, thank you, Ludia. Cheers for kicking me out. <laughs> oh, um, and I never got in, like on a personal level because you can make an animation and people will be laugh at it, but they won't know who you are. The joke might not even have anything to do with you. The voice actor might not even be you who's in it. Um, but in Let's Plays, it's almost like you sit down, you go on YouTube, and you click play on that video, and you're sat there. It's it's like I'm sat there with you playing this game, and it and that's what is amazing about it is is that sort of emotional level and it's really it's it's hard to describe the, i've never had that in animation um and it, it's almost put it on the back burner the fact that i'm loving this so much i mean i do animation when i've got time i, I still love it that's my passion and i feel fulfilled in that when i do animation whereas let's plays i might not because there's millions and millions of people out there on YouTube who do Let's Plays, but animation is a lot c more complicated. It's more expensive, it takes a lot more skill, and, um... But the thing is, to be a Let's Play, you have to be entertaining. It, I'm, I'm saying animation is hard and it's really tough, because it is, but Let's Play also has its own, uh, you know, hurdles. Because anybody can do a Let's Play, but for you to make it interesting, you have to edit it, you have to cut it, you have to have a personality, and you have to be entertaining. And these are things that people don't do. Some people might just click record, and then they'll be recording their mic at the same time, and then they'll just click stop record, send straight to YouTube, and there might be loads of errors, there might be boring bits, and thank luckily, a lot of people out there do that. Which means that the people like me, who put extra time and effort into their videos, rise above those people, because when you have a passion and you love something, people like you, pick it up so well and you know that this person loves what they're doing and because you sense that you enjoy watching them whereas if you're watching somebody who's like nah yeah I'll, I'll do this uh you you feel instantly you don't want to watch them i went on twitch for the first time ever and i saw somebody playing pokemon yellow and it was like they were just it was face camming as well and they were just sort of like staring at what the game and playing it and not saying anything and then muttering every so and so often I was like, what is this? What is this? This isn't entertaining. Are you just doing it because... Reasons? I don't know, but... Anyway, this has been my ramble on thoughts and things at the time. And thank you so much for staying with me. And I probably said it a thousand million bajillion times. But thank you so much for allowing me to share my life and... Or playing awesome times of games together. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye.